Sheldon, how you doing with that? Not really falling outside, Sheldon. <laughs> All right, welcome back. It's 25 minutes after the hour of 7 o'clock. It's the morning brew here on CNC3. And we're going to be speaking to Mrs. Supranational. Now, I know you probably just learned about this. I, I really just did. I can't even hide my stick and lick a man, as we say in Jamaican terms. It means, you know, you, you let them know where you stand on something. So this is my first time learning about Mrs. Supranational. And to talk to us about that is the winner for 2020, uh, Miss Janelle Thongs. Miss Thongs? Hey, hey Miss Thongs. What a name. What a name. I know. I know. So imagine, you know, being five years old and Cecil came up with his song. Top yeah. Skin. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. I can even imagine you being in the competition and they're like, hey, thongs. <laughs> exactly. But it's okay. You need to grow and flow with it. <laughs> All right, uh, Janelle, welcome to the Morning Brew here on CNC3. Thank you so much. So for you me. are the winner of Miss Supranational 2020, yes. but we are in the midst of a pandemic. How did this happen? Yes. Um, I just have to say kudos to the amazing executive of Miss Supranational, Trinidad and Tobago, as well as the parent company, Miss Supranational, uh, because we decided that we're not going to let COVID define what we do as a people and that is to show up and show out so the the majority of things were it was done virtually uh the first time i met them was virtually our training here and makeup interviewing everything was done virtually up until the laws kind of lapsed a little bit so we can meet and greet and the first time we did that we were already three months in um and then we had to go back on a little lockdown and then come back out again uh, so it has been a try and difficult eight months, but we proved that we can definitely do it. So when did the competition take place? And if you said most things were done virtually, the final competition, yeah. was that done virtually as well? Thank God it was not. I don't know if I would have been able to survive um, being a pageant enthusiast as I am. I just love the stage and I love that aspect of competition. So we were able to meet in person for that, but all COVID protocols were held. The amazing staff at Anchorage allowed us to have our final night coronation to be filmed. So everything has been filming actually since July. So we just did what we had to do. We wore a mask, we you know, sanitized and social distance where we can. And last week, Sunday, so that would be November 1st, I emerged the winner of Miss Supernational Trinidad and Tobago 2020. Well, girl, I'm going to ask the producer to put back up those pics because you're looking fly. You're looking <laughs> stunning. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank oh, my you. God. Thank look you. at those. <laughs> Ooh. So, you always this hot? Well, you know. Damn. Um, all in a day's work. <laughs> well, well, girl, I'm telling you, you really look amazing. I love Thank that you. one in the pink. The one in the pink where you twirled. The one in the pink, yes. That and Eastman, they are amazing. They sponsored for our top model segment, um, a look as well as K2K Alliance. Our sponsors this year in the midst of a pandemic has been truly amazing. And not um, Crown and Sasha's. Beauty Queen, as a Queen Maker, Sky Beauty. I can actually go on and on and on. Yeah. Um, but they have been fantastic in ensuring that not only Matt McSav and my super sisters as well had a truly wonderful experience with Miss Supernational. What, what goes into being a beauty queen, especially for an international <laughs> competition such as a Supernational? Well, um, Miss Supernational, uh, the local brand that is, the slogan this year is a celebration of beauty. And that means everything that you are on the inside and the outside, flaws and all, all your imperfections, and really just owning that. Um, the international brand, their slogan is aspirational, inspirational men and women, because there is a male counterpart for Miss Supernational, Mr. Supernational. And what goes into it is just learning to be yourself and loving yourself through it all. I have had many ups and downs when it comes to pageantry and in my own life, but I decided that my only way out was through, and my slogan for this year is to inspire and to be inspired. 
And I hope during my year as a district national in Trinidad and Tobago that I'm able to do just that. Right. So when you win this crown and you have a year yeah. ahead of you, what are some of the things that you do as a beauty queen? I actually can't wait. This year they implemented for the very first time something called your CSI. It's a community service initiative. And my personal CSI is called Bridge the Gap. And this is to specifically assist Venezuelan migrants learning basic and conversational English to help in their day-to-day -day tasks. And for us locals to learn basic and conversational Spanish so that we can simply communicate better. And I think this is important, uh, seeing the climate that we're in right now, but this is something that any community in Trinidad and Tobago and any country or the world can adopt. And that is the main forward to. But there are so many things that I'm passionate about. And I know we're in the midst of a pandemic, but I really hope to take this opportunity and the platform that I have to, like I said before, inspire and be inspired. And I hope to bring on cause like some change in Trinidad and Tobago. Right. And while you're telling me that your uh, yeah. pageantry life has had its ups and downs, not according to this yeah. fact sheet that I have here, <laughs> this is such yeah. fact that says Miss Chaguanas Carnival Queen 2012, Miss Carnival yeah. Trinidad and Tobago 2013, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Miss Beauty Trinidad and Tobago 2016. I know you deserve that one hands down. Miss Heritage Trinidad and Tobago 2016, uh, Miss Heritage International 2016 Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. Miss Trinidad and Tobago Carnival Queen 2017, Miss JC, Departure JC's to eh, eh, Trinidad yeah. and Tobago 2017, <laughs> Antigua and Barbuda, Miss Caribbean Culture Trinidad and Tobago 2017, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Miss Caribbean United, Trinidad and Tobago 2018, mm -hmm. Grenada, and now Mr. Supranational, mm -hmm. Trinidad and yeah. Tobago 2020. So this is your biggest crown. Yeah. This is definitely the biggest crown. Um, I have been in pageantry for 10 years. I started at the age of 18. And this is so important to me. Um, you listed all of these things, but I am finally now into the mist. Trinidad and Tobago opportunity, and I couldn't be more humbled. And I really do hope to add one more to that list and become your mistress. Let me hear which one it is. Yeah. Is it Miss World? Is it Miss Universe? <laughs> it's, well, I look at it the same opportunity because it is important that when you become a Miss Trinidad and Tobago, it doesn't matter which franchise that you're in, you become an ambassador and you become an ambassador for life. So I am taking this opportunity very seriously. And I know it's for a competition, and I know that I want to, you know, showcase Trinidad and Tobago on this world stage. But the work starts here. It starts now in my community of Nova. It starts in a wider uh, for the nation and of Trinidad and Tobago. If I'm looking a little bit more balanced, but I literally just came from Tobago yesterday. <laughs> and it's important to me to show all aspects of Trinidad and Tobago and the things that truly make us beautiful. Right. So you're telling me you're not looking to enter the Miss World or the Miss Universe? Um, I, to be very honest, Miss Supernational for me means so much. Being a part of a competition that really celebrates women of substance and men of substance, and I'm not saying the other franchises uh, that they don't, but Miss Supernational surely has a special place in my heart when I decided that I wanted to enter. Um, I am coming down to the end of my pageant journey in terms of my age, uh, at being 28, but I wanted my last year to really mean something and stand for something. And I thought that Miss Supernational would be the perfect fit for me. I mean, Trinidad and Tobago has never brought home an international friend from Miss Supernational. And there's yet to be a black woman from as Miss Supernational. But if our Miss Universe 1977 could do it, I think, you know, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Supernational 2020 could do the same. So that's my goal. My goal is to shake up the table. And if it is I can't shake the table, I'll just bring my own. <laughs> I like that. I definitely yeah. like that. Well, <laughs> definitely congratulations to you. I'm looking Thank forward so to the much. work that you'll do over the next year. You. And, you know, congratulations to the franchise holder and to all the sponsors who were able to bring this off, as you said, in the midst of a pandemic, not letting the pandemic mm -hmm. hold you all back. And as I said, yeah. you're beautiful, at least <laughs> from what I can see on the outside. I'm hoping the inside is even more radiant. 
I'm sure, and I'm excited to just show you guys in this one year. And you know, as I said, I'm now an ambassador for life, and I always felt like that. But now it just means that I have this amazing platform to show you guys uh, myself and what it really means to me to be Janelle Thongs. <laughs> yes, yes. You yeah. live up to that Thongs, girl. All right, Janelle, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing with us this morning and all the best on your thank journey. Thank you so much. You're most thank you welcome. Thank so much for having me. Bye, yes. everyone. <laughs> She's so cute. Janelle Thong's there. <laughs> Miss Super yeah. National 2020 speaking to us about, you know, going through a pageant uh, during a pandemic and just what it means to her to represent Trinidad and Tobago on this stage. And the Miss Super National competition is one of the five international competitions in the world. It, it is a big brand. Uh, funny enough, I didn't know about it, so I'm going to forgive myself for that. But she's a beautiful, beautiful girl, and I'm proud of her for winning that title. We take a short break and we'll be back with you. Thank you.